what are we going to see for our second matchup? Keep in mind, Coastline will be banned in every single map today. So, or every single match today, you don't need to worry about going there. It's going to be Oregon. Interestingly, our most played map in Europe. Those new asphyxiating bolts make defending inside of the closet downstairs and defending a lot of those hard held positions like top white. We've also got one coming down main stairs now. And that'll be Shate to fall at the hands of enemy. Playing up on top of the laundry bins. And there go the toxic babes coming out. A quick trade there for Slebin is actually Mouse will grab two and equalize. Sir Boss falling as well in the inherent spray. Plenty of LMGs all over the place. And the toxic babe will now be disseminated to go through the wall. Boonsy collects another one onto the docket though as that's enemy to fall. And now it's all the diffuser down and hungry left in a 1v3. It's the nice headshot onto Wilkie and turning the corner. Slebin will be down as well. Finish off with the shotgun. It's down to the 1v1. Boonsy against hungry. Ping's coming out onto Boonsy into the main hallway, but not fast enough as he's able to dart away and escape into box. Hungry now playing in default on the rotation point, and that is Boonsy to clean that one up for Mouse. A hectic, chaotic, last second desperation attempt there for Mouse, but the gunfights that go their way. It's precarious here for Pentas. They've invested a lot of bodies, obviously, and a lot of utility into challenging this tower takes Sir Boss will chew through another one onto Bonesy and now down the main stairs Sir Boss in a contest against Shate outside of the front door pulling out a drone though the worst possible time we'll get the bailiff but Shate still able to win that out onto Sir Boss enemy is really a big force of why a big credit and why Penta is doing as well as they are because he's been able to kill so much time and also enemies he's got two lined up oh is he gonna get them both enemy just waiting for them to peek they're actually dealing out a decent amount of damage onto the mouse attackers as well. An enemy while stunned will take the shot onto Wilkie and drop him on the rooftops. Gonfi with an immediate trade onto Hungry though. So there goes your smoke downstairs. And now there's going to repel into T3 while Concuss. Slevin hits the shots. Enemy will fall. That's T3 surrendered by uh, Penta. And now on the defense, they're going to lose another one. Slevin just tacking on. Plant going down from Gonfi though. And all they have to do is watch the stairs. Blast coming in through Attic. You've got Sir Boss down below on the main tower stairs. Shate still holding from T3 will be the difference maker. If someone can hit a shot onto him up two levels, Boonsy grabs one, looking to collect two. Shate wraps it up with a nice little bow. Especially with a Valkyrie now playing up in T3, that C4 is usually reserved for down below, but it's gonna be a lockout from Penta anyway. They pick up two very fast kills, and I don't really see how Penta loses this from the bottom floor. Slevin will find one at least onto enemy, possibly looking for another, but it's Blast who will be able to outduel him as Slevin didn't appear to know that Blast was coming for cover. Still leaving Revan downstairs inside of the washroom. The Echo is going to peek on out, but Sir Boss will get swiftly shut down. The Bonesy doesn't have a lot of time to work with. He also doesn't have that diffuser, so it's very unlikely that he's going to be able to do all that much. He finds himself in a very vulnerable position, and it'll be Hungry who will decide to cut him off and say, that's enough for this round. It'll be Penta going back and forth. It also looks like there might be a Yokai down, so things will start off. But there's Enemy, and playing behind the shield is Sir Boss. He's just going to gun Gomfi down, the fire and the flames in front of him, but he'll try to go through it. He'll lose his shield. There's Shate, but Revan is also on board. Waz will jump on in. Enemy taking out Bonesy, and I suppose this go-for-broke strategy of Mouse didn't really go anywhere. It's a late flank from Penta and Enemy inside a meeting hall yet again. Either fireworks play or it's not going to last very long. And there come the run out. Sir Boss with one and another one for Hungry onto Shate. Leaves Wilkie and Bonesy left alive. A minute and 15 seconds and Mouse doesn't have any information because Penta isn't allowing them to take it. Every single member of Penta is just finding a new lane to run on here on Oregon. And Hungry will finish things off with a beautiful two piece at the back of the tower stairs. Man. This Penta matchup right now with Mouse is fun to watch for both of these teams, but and if Penta's drone is as ineffective as we saw from Mouse, which it might be, as Gonfi did not get droned out, he takes the fight against Sir Boss and wins, and Gonfi still stays in the same position, then this could go from bad to worse. That's a beautiful shot from Gonfi. Can he get the second? No, he's completely blinded, and Revan is there on what is a pretty standard kill for Revan, given the circumstances that Gonfi found himself in. As he made it back to top white with ease, Wilkie, though, will finish off enemy, so now it's just Revan, last, last alive, coming up the white stairs. He's going to walk into a crossfire here, but it'll be Wilkie down below. Not in quite default spot, but standing in the middle of the open as Hungry just sprays in wildly, trying to tap away at somebody. This is going to be no chance for Mouse to be able to recover, as one body will vault on through, Blast finds him, and Penta has the successful defuse plant. Enemy just watching the holes from above, and it's going to be almost a full sweep for Penta, but oh, don't count out Gomfi, two kills, playing dangerously underneath that hatch. You see a flash go in, but it will miss. Gonfi is still completely able to see. 
Plays up to the stairs, but he knows he's going to have his back exposed. Two different angles that Penta will hold basically means that Gomfi is unable to win any sort of trade. He's going to peek up too much, but he gets shut down from enemy. It was a bit of an odd time there for Mouse, where Gomfi did his best, but ultimately there was just too many bodies to deal with. And that's what happens when you stick five bodies on site. So there you go. Enemy will manage to survive a Nitro Cell. Good coverage from Sir Boss. He'll find the down onto Bonesy. EMP will go on in. Slevin cuts down Blast, but it's another successful plan. Keep in mind, 100% success ratio if you get the Diffuser down. It'll be match point for Penta if that number continues. Sir Boss down as it looks like Revan will take out Wilkie too, but Shate wins that fight. They're going to go back and forth, back and forth. A 2v3, but Bonesy falls now, and it's essentially a 2v2. Is Sir Boss still immobile? Revan's still just holding tight. It's a run out, but you get caught down. It's going to be a 1v1. Shate versus Revan. Shate trying to bait it out, but there's not a lot of time here. This should be very easy for Revan, and he'll finish things off. Penta securing themselves one point. You've got Hungry carrying the Diffuser. A retreat coming up top, White Stairs, in just a moment's time. Wilkie. Looks like he prepped a Nitro Cell and he'll land a nice shot onto enemy inside a generator. The plant going down from Hungry. In the midst of smoke is Sir Boss in the windows as he lays cover on Overwatch on his repel. Hungry trying to lock down the main hallway and White Stairs simultaneously. His pings will come out on the defenders. Looks like that is the Nitro Cell from Wilkie sent out and he'll claim the life of Sir Boss. Down to a 2v2, but time not the friend of Mouse Sports and the remaining two SAS operators. SMG 11s will be in hand as they try to press up. Locking down from one bomb chassis and transferring to another target. Hungry will lock out that one for Penta, and that is a 7-3 victory for Penta Sports. Mouse will drop yet another game in the second half. Liked a lot of what I saw there from Penta. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Quite a bit of what I saw. And, and you know, the whole issue with dorms is that it's very difficult to retake it. We say this every single time Oregon comes up, but I think it's always worth mentioning that retaking kids' dorms when you have full sight control is very difficult. If you're an attacker watching that diffuser and there's more than one of you left, there's really high odds that you'll be able to hold on.